Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great Sunday. This is your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes if you support more stimulus checks. Enhanced unemployment benefits ran out Saturday. We could be facing a government shutdown midnight Monday night. Senator, you disagree with some of the provisions in this massive funding package. Uh, two uh, legislative uh, bodies, and Democrats control one, Republicans the other. Look, if it were just the uh, freestanding government funding, and, you know, in my state, as in many other states, we have governors who are closing down businesses again. People are out of work, certainly through no fault of their own. I think we need the extended unemployment benefits. I think we need another round of the PPP loans, which are really grants to small businesses to keep their workforce, uh, you know, part of their business, and uh, sign this bill and then make the case. Uh, Congress can pass another bill. I don't agree with $2,000 checks to people who've had no lost income whatsoever, which is the vast majority of Americans. But the president's free to make that case. Democrats will agree with that and uh, see where it ends up, but we've got a bill right now. Now for our stimulus news, the Biden team has denied that President-elect Joe Biden wants Democrats to accept a smaller relief deal. That's according to CNBC. Biden has publicly said he backs House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's effort to approve an aid bill that costs at least $2.2 trillion. CNBC goes on to say that Joe Biden's transition team Denied Monday that the president-elect advisors have pushed Democratic congressional leaders to agree to a smaller stimulus package in order to win more relief now. In public remarks, the former vice president has repeatedly supported the effort by House Speaker Pelosi and Minority Leader Chuck Schumer to approve aid legislation that costs at least $2.2 trillion, $2 trillion. A New York Times report on Monday said Biden's team has urged the Democrats to strike an agreement with Republicans as soon as possible to curb mounting economic damage from the outbreak. Dex, but uh, the danger is he'll be, adv he'll, he'll be remembered for uh, chaos and, and misery and erratic behavior if, uh, if he allows this to expire. So I think the best thing to do, as I say, it, sign this and then make the case for uh, subsequent legislation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is going to hold a floor vote on the $2,000 stimulus item President Trump has requested putting all House Republicans on the record. How can Republicans vote against more aid when millions of Americans are still unemployed through no fault of their own? Yeah, because it's terribly untargeted, right? Well, why would we be sending $2,000 to people with a six-figure income who've had no suspension, no reduction of their income at all? Consider the millions of federal employees. Never miss the check. They're not going to miss a check. Their expenses are probably somewhat diminished. A savings rate went through the roof. Why would we be sending several thousand dollars to, to these folks? This money isn't sitting on a shelf. We're going to print it or we're going to borrow it. And I think that the aid should be much, much more targeted. It should be targeted to people who've actually lost their job. Uh, small businesses that are... Even if it means cutting the desired price tag. But Biden's spokesman, Andrew Bates, called the report incorrect. In his statement to NBC News, he said the president-elect fully supports the speaker and the leader in their negotiations. Now everybody tell me in the comments down below. Should Congress pass the Democratic $2.2 trillion stimulus bill? Or should they pass Mitch McConnell's and the Republicans' $500 billion skinny stimulus bill? CNBC goes on to report that Congress has failed to approve new aid for months as the parties describe fundamentally different visions for what the country and healthcare system need to recover from the pandemic. Republicans have touted the U.S. economic rebound in recent months, though the progress looks like it will take a hit as states and cities put restrictions in place. Last week, last month, Democrats passed a $2.2 trillion stimulus bill that included $600 per week in extra unemployment benefits. In some cases, I do. I think the case of Mike Flynn, for instance, was completely legitimate to pardon him because the prosecution was a abuse of power. I don't think Michael Flynn ever committed a crime. Uh, but some of these other cases, I mean, my goodness, we have tax fraud and bank fraud, witness tampering, obstruction of justice. Uh, but because they were close to the president, they got pardoned. This is uh, unfortunately reminiscent of the Mark Rich pardon by President Clinton. Uh, it is legal. It is constitutional. But I think it's a misuse of the power. Some are suggesting it is time to reform presidential pardon powers. Do you agree? 
Uh, you know, it's it's a good discussion to have, but it's uh, it's a tough call. This is obviously a constitutional power, so I don't know how we would do it without amending the Constitution. And uh, I, I, th I think twelve hundred dollar direct payments to most Americans, more than four hundred billion dollars in state and local government relief, and another in another round of Paycheck Protection Program small business loans, while a five hundred billion dollar plan the Senate GOP tried to pass last month included PPP funding. It offered $300 per week in unemployment benefits, but did not include our, our $1,200 stimulus checks. By the way, everybody, Congress is on recess. Thanksgiving recess, that is. And they will not return until next week. Then, leaders will occupy themselves with passing a government funding bill by a December 11th deadline. Lawmakers would face a challenge in reaching a stimulus compromise before Biden takes office on January 20th. Now, in my opinion, I do not believe there are members in Congress our politicians in Congress that we voted for. They should not be going on recess until they pass a stimulus bill. They have not gotten the work done. They have not approved a second stimulus bill in months. So why on earth are they on recess? Not only recess, but paid recess. It's totally unfair if you think about it because thousands of people, millions of Americans across the country are unemployed. And their federal unemployment benefits are set to expire the day after Christmas. So if our hardworking Americans are not getting paid stimulus checks or unemployment benefits, then why should our members in Congress? Why, do our, why are our politicians on paid recess? Now who is to blame for holding back our second stimulus check everybody? Leave your comments down below. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell. That way you'll never miss all the newest and most up-to-date, reliable stimulus check information.